Okay, so here's the completed bottom half of the sim. Just go ahead and walk through how I set this up. Um, if you read my post, you saw that this desk was originally uh, 35 inches wide. It had um, some storage here for a com computer tower. So basically, I took that section out and used the wood to extend the desk. So now it's 47 inches wide. And I took the panels that I purchased. These are the desktop aviator panels. And as you can see here, I just screwed them in into the wood. And for the parking brake, I screwed it in on the bottom there. But the rest of the panels, I, I didn't, you know, do anything special really besides just screw them in directly to the desk. For the center section, I used the same extra wood that I had and I can't really um, explain how I did. I should have took a video, but uh, basically I just measured it out for each panel, um, the FSX dual and the you select and put it all together so it looks like this hopefully this helps just you know getting some visuals of it and we'll come around to the back so I added this extra long piece of wood on the back for support and so that I can mount my US my power USB hubs so it's very convenient got a nice and organized back here on the top. One, six, uh, the phone ringing, hold on. Turn that off. Okay, so on the top here, <clears throat> um, these blocks are for the yoke. So the yoke fits right on there and it prevents it from sliding around. And I didn't want to drill holes from the bottom because one, the yoke doesn't have holes. And so this is good enough uh, this white box here with this door. I decided I wanted to have some storage um, Almost like a like a glove box So the door is actually attached to the desk and I had an extra box that I just mounted here And I put some magnets and the other magnet is going to be on the panel. So when it closes it locks in place But that's what that is there And this is it Completed bottom half wasn't too hard at all. To make the panel, I have this piece of wood here, this piece of maple wood that I purchased from Lowe's. And um, here are some of the instruments. And as you can see, some of the lines there. So basically what I'm doing is putting the instruments down, figuring out the exact placement that I want them. And I'm just um, tracing lines around them. And those lines are going to be my cut lines. I have a jigsaw, a very cheap jigsaw from, a, from a Walmart. And uh, I just cut, cut the holes. And then all I have to do is just paint it. After it dries, screw the instruments on, or the panels, and... We should be good to go, so we'll go ahead and start that right now. top half it's just about complete here 
just need to screw on the last prop wash sim panel and the glare show was made from a quarter inch um, rubber foam that I ordered from Amazon and screwed it right into the top the frame and TV stands from my cockpit are made from one inch PVC pipes I connected them and made a box frame that's the same length as the TV. The TVs are 47 inches uh, long and I found some shelving at Lowe's that happened to be 47 inches long. I screwed them into the top, spray, spray painted the frames black and just surrounded them around the cockpit. All I have to do is just put the TVs on each side and now I have 180 degrees view. So it's pretty nice and I saved a lot of money from buying the professional TV stands. I just was able to make my own. And the last thing I needed was some monitors. So last year I was fortunate enough to get three matching Samsung 4K TVs and finally complete my SIM build.